Hey there, Joey. This is your old pal, Mr. Gunner. That's what I said. With this, no, this isn't a Super Mario Mike letter, but it's just as bad. You see, all right. We'll let one thing at a time. How you guys been? I've been okay. Um, it's windy out today, so it's a little cold. But you know, this generator is great and all. I love it to death. But I ended up going with the cords, the extension cords. Which, if you follow me on Twitter, which you should do, so the links in the description below. Um, I I pose the question: Should I do extension cords? to Eagle's Landing, or should I do generator that's extremely loud? Obviously, I chose the quieter approach, because although, yeah, my dad could see this wire, I doubt it, but he would definitely hear the generator. I can't even see it, there it is, there it is. Follow the cord. This reminds me of Lost. Here, you'll see I connected it. Oh, let me lose my shadow here. Look, I hide it with a leaf. You'll see I connected it, a couple extensions. What's this? Eagle's Landing has electricity, finally. Uh, I just need to find the surge protector that's in the Morton building, and so that way I can use multiple plugs. And as you'll see, I even have some extra slack. Here's my, uh, what do you call that? Oh, an outlet, yes, my outlet piece. And yeah, uh, most of the water has dried out. Open her up for you guys. I need to use two hands here. And yes, it's, yeah, it, as you can tell, it kind of got a little deflaty in here. Um, I just need to resituate. See, the wind, the wind was not good. As you can see, it pulled out um, one of the hooks. I just need to hammer that back in. But you know what? That's not a big deal because I haven't been in the tent too much. Um, I actually received a phone call from uh, this old woman, and see, there's a lot of backstory here. What the hell is this shadow? There we go. There's a lot of backstory here, but um, I have this really old woman neighbor um, that we, we've been kind of in touch with, kind of a family friend. She's 93 years old. What happened was, I guess some, some Riri, some, some uh, thinks he's a juggy or something, made a fan mail out to me. Well, not to me, to my father. You see, but he put the wrong address on it. He tried to he tried to bypass the P.O. box. Though he's being real clever. He's like, I'm gonna track down Jesse's real address and address it to that. However, he got it very wrong. So it ended up at our neighbor's house, this very old woman. So she rung me up. She said, Hey, Jesse, um, I think you got some I think somebody's trying to send you some stuff or your family for your whole fan mail YouTube thing. Um, you should come check this out. She doesn't know what's going on with my family and stuff right now, luckily, and I didn't talk to her about it. So what I did was I hopped on my bicycle, rode over there today, and she talked my ear off for a good two hours. That's why I haven't video updated you guys. <laughs> I was getting life advice, but she gave me she gave me this this letter here, which let me take this out and read it for you guys, just in case you're wondering. And, and you who sent this, you know who you are, so you're getting put on blast right now. Ah, yeah, here we go. I'm not making this up, guys. This is 100% legitimate. Dear Jeffrey Ringway. Yeah, Ringway, okay. Um, on YouTube, after you kicked Jesse Ridgway out of the house, Jesse Ridgway was staying in your garage. Jesse's taking a tent from the garage and will be camping behind your garage. I am telling you this so you can find him. I saw all the YouTube videos. Jesse Ridgway is on your property. This is all written on a nice little note called Feeding America. Well you sir just, you almost screwed me the frick over. Had my father received this, had this come in the regular mail, had it not just, had it just happened a little differently, had you gotten my address right, I'd be screwed right now. Thank God you messed up, and this woman, this old woman was kind enough to call me, just knowing my YouTube situation. Just knowing that I have fans, and then this happens. Thank God, honestly. But thank you, concerned Juggy, um, for telling my dad that I'm behind the woods. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna do my phone charger first, because that's kind of the most important, so I've been keeping in touch with y'all and Juliet. <laughs> I've had some uh, rippy tears while I've been out here. Should still work. Uh, this 
This right here is a work light. Plug that in. This is exciting. I feel like I'm in my home again. Plugging shit into the power strip. Plugging every single thing <laughs> in the world in this thing. Um, and the laptop cord, where is that? Yes. Our very limited electronics. There we go. So we should. Yes! <laughs> we got a work light for later tonight, or just general nighttime usage. Laptop, should see a blue light there. Yeah, baby! Yeah! And I'm not gonna plug my phone in right now because it's doing all right. <sighs> Eagles landing as electricity! Finally! Oh, you heard it right here. Yeah. That's right, little baby. Yes, my little mocking jet. Oh my god, I'm petting the wrong thing. It's hard when you're using the LCD. Oh, yes. My little eaglet. My, we've come a long way, haven't we? Give me some of these pretzels. Give me some of these victory pretzels. Mm. All right. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to take off my shoes. It's all about that excitement. Look at the sun rays I'm getting. Normally this would be coming through my window. I'm getting direct rays, baby. Mm. Mm. I was looking on my phone. I was looking on a laptop. It appears that Jeffrey posted the fucking Easter Bunny prank. You can watch that here. Um, har har. Very funny. He did a nice job, honestly. I, I think we're kind of stupid for not have noticing uh, the light setup earlier. I'm not sure how he did it. But thank you for inspiring me to use extension cords versus a generator. This is so sneaky. I love it. So yeah, we now have the work light for nighttime and I still haven't heard word guys like I'm still waiting for my mom to say hey Jess like it's all good Easter's tomorrow you can come back inside just hasn't happened yet um, so we'll see maybe it'll happen tonight you know last second if not tomorrow's gonna be sucky you know right now we'd be dying eggs Watching movies or something. I don't know. No, not not today. But hey, Eagles Landing has electricity right now, so that's exciting. This is potentially dangerous because I know usually when I'm holding my phone above my head like this, it falls flat on my face. This camera's a little heavy, so it would be kind of bad. I've just been laying here thinking, guys, and um, I have a power strip now. I have electricity in in the Eagles Nest in Eagles Landing. Honestly. I need some gaming stuff. <laughs> I hate to say it. I'm clearly an addict, but I mean, I have I have at least two open plugs, perhaps more if I unplug some other things. All I would really need is two, if I say had an an Xbox or a gaming monitor or something. <sighs> Look at me scheming over here. Um, <laughs> So, I think I'm, because I, I, I'm bored shitless, you know, half my time is spent just exploring the woods uh, on my laptop, on my phone, on electronics anyway, so, you know, this is our official place, might as well pip it out with some video games, you know? So, I have this idea, I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but it's going to help me attain these gaming items and whatnot. And if, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you guys about this idea. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet. Honestly, I might be back in the house as of tonight. I feel like there's no way I could be kicked out for Easter. And if I am, it's just going to change everything. Because um, that's really messed up. So, I'm going to end this update for you guys. I'll, chuck, I'll check back again tomorrow on Easter or late tonight if something changes. And I'll upload that for you guys tomorrow night. Just make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram where I'll share things. If anything changes, I will let you guys know. Um, don't forget to subscribe for more content. I love you all. The amount of support I've gotten across all mediums has been crazy. And just this letter that I received, unbelievable. The fact that somebody, that somebody would, not cool. I love you all. Keep it rigid. I'm doing fine on this, this windy Saturday. I hope you guys have a great Easter, a hoppy one, as they say. And yeah. I'll probably just be web surfing tonight and uh, thinking, thinking some more. In other news, I smell like fucking shit. And, and I don't know, this is probably the weirdest thing you ever heard, but do you guys ever like smell your BO and like 
you know, it's not that bad. I, is that just me? Okay, well, whatever. That's all I had to share with you guys. <laughs> Keep it rigid. And if you're ever having a tough time over this weekend or your family sucks, just remember, could be worse. Could be living in a tent. Then again, maybe you're a little jealous because Eagle's Landing's freaking awesome and we get electricity now. Yeah! Eagle's... I just choked on my own saliva. This is not a comfortable position. Keep it rigid, guys.